Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video. My name is Amata and I hope you're having an amazing day. We're going to start off today's video with yet more older lake news and this time it's not a benchmark or performance numbers. It is a leak of the launch dates and reveal dates for the 12th generation older lake desktop processors as well as of course the Z690 platform. Now, obviously there's been a ton of rumours about older lake lately as we rapidly approach the rumoured reveal and launch dates and the folks over at WCCFTech.com decided to reach out to their sources and of course you can find a link to their article linked in the description below. So according to their information that pre-launch announcement will be next week and we're going to be seeing it on the 27th and 28th of October the innovation event of course is going to be the naming and if that sounds familiar that is pretty much exactly what has been rumored for some time now that we would see the reveal from Intel on the 27th and 28th now obviously they have detailed the architecture and, and certain things in their recent architecture day but this is all going to be about the SKUs, the price, the specs and of course performance and as for what SKUs we're going to be expecting at this particular event, it is obviously going to be all of the ones that we've heard rumoured about before, 12900K, 12900KF, 12700K, 12700KF, 12600, 12600KF, and of course again the Z690 platform. But I know the big question on your minds is, well, what about the release date? When are we actually going to be able to buy these damn hybrid processors? And the answer is the 4th of November is when we're going to be seeing the Old Lake processors as well as the Z690 motherboards be readily available for purchase. And again, we are going to be seeing prices confirmed at the Innovation Day event from Intel. And I think price is going to be crucial. Now, obviously, all the recent leaks and benchmarks and so on have pointed to Old Lake being pretty damn impressive and showing an actual significant lead against the Ryzen processors, but obviously they need to get that pricing right. It has to be competitively priced, especially because a lot of people are going to be aware that Zen 4 is coming at some point in 2022. But I think if they nail that, we could see Old Lake actually make some waves here. As for the Z690 platform, we are going to be seeing them, of course, be made available on the same day, but only the flagship Z690 motherboards will actually be able to support DDR5 memory with native speeds of up to 4800 MHz, whereas the cheaper motherboards, such as the B650s, just for example, are going to retain that DDR4-3200 support. So basically, if you want to use DDR5, you are unfortunately going to have to splash out for the flagship motherboard, but that shouldn't really come as a surprise. And as for the DDR5 memory kits, there are going to be several memory kits made available the day before the older lake processors actually release and various companies have announced announced excuse me various memory kits like Corsair and G Skill and Galax and so on. So there's several ones for you to choose from if you want to go and do your research if perhaps you're toying of switching over to DDR5 for Old Lake. I'm really looking forward to this one guys. I'm happy that it's coming really really soon TM. Although I am moving house around then so it's just kind of annoying timing. But regardless I'm curious to see what we're actually going to be seeing final specs, final performance, final prices for Old Lake because I think that's really where we're going to be seeing how much of this hype that's been building dies on the vine or if it blooms into a beautiful gorgeous flower garden. I'm curious to see from you guys though in the comments how many of you are actually considering switching over to Old Lake perhaps from a Ryzen processor or an older Intel processor. Do let me know guys, I'm curious to see how many of you are considering it, how many of you are definitely sold and how many of you are waiting to see what sort of pricing Intel actually have to offer because again I really feel that's going to be crucial. Anyway we're going to move on now to some AMD news as we have some Ryzen 7000 mobile leaks. And of course Ryzen 7000 is better known as Zen 4. Now over on Twitter there was a message from Nice Ming who has shared confidential information before and his tweet or their tweet excuse, I should say excuse me says Zen 4 16 core notebook and then Grayman 55 whose name should need no introduction at this point uh, expanded on this rumor and said as far as I know Raphael H does have 16 cores and it's not the same thing as Phoenix H. Now obviously AMD's Raphael is the next gen desktop silicon which of course is based on the Zen 4 Microsoft architecture. Now we don't even have confirmation of the desktop core count yet but here in this leak we seem to get an indication of how many cores the mobile variant will feature. Now an interesting thing to consider with the Raphael desktop processors there has been rumors floating around for quite some time now that we will be seeing 
RDNA 2 integrated graphics. And the coolest thing about this leak is the fact that if it indeed is accurate, that means for Zen 4 Mobile, AMD are going to be doubling the core count from Zen 3 Mobile, as of course, even for the tippy top of the mobile SKUs, the 5980HX, the layout was 8 cores, 16 threads, and that's a pretty damn impressive. Now, an interesting thing to consider with the Raphael desktop processors, there has been rumours floating around for quite some time now that we will be seeing RDNA 2 integrated graphics built in onto the desktop processors. You know, Raphael will be the first desktop high-end CPU on AMD's end to feature those integrated graphics. And this is generally regarded as a response to what Intel is doing with Older Lake. And again, this rumour is not new. It's been floating around for over a year at this point. Now obviously by the time these processes actually come out they are going to be competing against a Raptor Lake so it's really going to be quite interesting to see if this is implemented and of course if it was implemented in a response to Old Lake obviously that could very well be the case but we will have to wait and see. But we're going to move on now to a little bit of gaming news as we have a couple of things. First of all I'm going to get started with some feels bad man but feels okay man kind of news as Elden Ring has officially been delayed in one month. There was an official tweet from From Software which simply reads, the release date for Elden Ring has been changed to Friday 25th of February 2022. Please accept our sincere apologies for keeping you waiting. Your patience and understanding mean a great deal to us. Now obviously it is kind of like oh pain for having to wait an extra month because you know we've all been waiting for Elden Ring for such a long time you know for an entire year or just over a year we all went without any gameplay before we finally got that um, trailer at Summer Games Fest. But it's only an extra month and I would much much rather they take their time. As much as I'm like oh it's kind of disappointing I'm like I would if you need the extra month take it please. Because of the amount of hope this is received, I do not want another cyberpunk on our hands, okay? I want this to be as good as it can. And if an extra month is what it takes to get that, then cool. But sticking on the FromSoft train for a moment, we have yet more Bloodborne PC rumours. And yes, I know, get your copium canisters ready. But according to a very reliable uh, leaker called Special Nick on the Xbox Era podcast, they basically revealed that multiple sources have confirmed to him that the PC port of Bloodborne is actually finished. And they also corroborated the recent rumours of Bluepoint Games working on the remaster of the original release, as well as a, a sequel, which is a fresh rumour which has cropped up in the last few days. And apparently he also provided proof to the moderators of the subreddit Gaming Leaks and Rumours. But you should still take all of this with a significant pinch of salt. Now I would love this to be true. Love, love, love this. I love Bloodborne and obviously getting it running at a proper frame rate on PC is pretty much been my dream since it came out. So that would be great. Bloodborne 2, I don't really know if that needs to happen, but if it's something that's happening, that's great. That I consider less likely even than a Bloodborne PC version, but at least according to Nick, it is finished. When will we see it revealed? I'm not really sure. Probably a few months after Elden Ring is my guess because, you know, FromSoft are not going to want to take away any of the spotlight from Elden Ring with the Bloodborne PC port announcement because that is going to be a huge deal for a lot of people. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on everything I've discussed, guys. And of course, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It does help out a great deal. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.